at life this morning, O oh God. Father in heaven, who loveth all, then hear thy children when they call. Then spirit of a living God, fall afresh upon us. Spirit of a living God, fall afresh upon me, a daughter linnet. Spirit of a living God, fall afresh upon Guyana, O oh God. Spirit of a living God, fall afresh upon all your children, here, there, and across the miles. Every home this morning, every individual under the sound of our voice, Father in heaven. Then, Master, speak, thy servant hear it, longing for thy gracious word, longing for the voice that hear it. Then, Master, let it now be heard. I am listening. We are listening, Lord, for thee. What hast thou to say to us? In this new year, yes, God, we will stand upon our watch and set us upon the tower and we'll look forward to see what Jehovah will speak with us. Yes, God, we are longing for that voice, the voice that Samuel heard, oh God. When Samuel heard the voice, he went to the priest and asked if he had called him. Let him be sober, be alert, so we can hear the voice. The priest Eli observed that God had called Samuel. He told him, go back and lie down. And he told him it again. And he said, when you hear the voice, say, Master, speak, thy servant hear it. Let us get serious with God. And as we get serious with God, yes, Father, you will get serious with us. Yes, God. The book of John tells us, My sheep hear my voice. He calleth his own sheep by name, and as he calls you, he goes before you. He does not call us and leave us. He would never give us a divine assignment for he who to the task they call us, will give us the strength, yes, Father, to meet the task, demand. And as he goes before you, the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. You won't answer to any voice. Sometimes you might hear a voice, and you got to think on it. I don't answer. Certain times a voice call. You know, sometimes during the night, I don't answer. Know the voice. Be sober. Be watchful. Master, speak this morning. Thy servants, they are listening. Yes, God. Then, Father, as we listen for that voice, cause us to know the way wherein we should walk. Yes, God, as we will be still and know that I am God. Then, Spirit of a living God. Father, bless every home this morning, God. As 
we let go and let God direct us with his voice. The same voice that said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Then I am not worthy, holy Lord, that thou should come to me, but speak the word, one gracious word can set the sinner free. For in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. And still is. And will continue to be. This morning, O oh God. Hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. Oh God bless every home this morning represented here. Bless this house, oh Lord, we pray, as you stand in your home with your hands uplifted and your hearts open to God. Bless this house, oh Lord, I pray. Father, keep it safe by night and day. Bless the hearts of blessing here with smart ascending like a prayer. Yes, God. Touch every door. Oh, God, touch every window. Oh, God, touch the basement. They are space, oh, God. Our neighbors, oh God, our environment, oh God, that community, God. Love has no barrier. Spirit knows no distance, yes, God. But you said, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things. We are listening, God. Then be still. Let go and know we are in the presence of God and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, wisdom. We acknowledge thy presence and thy power. Oh, blessed Jesus, in your divine wisdom, oh God. Now we raise all our mortal limitation. And whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are a good report. Let us think on these things. Know that with God, all things are possible. What it is this morning. Whatever is that sickness, oh God, you said he came to give us life and more of its abundance, oh God. Whatever pain you might be going through, the Psalms of us have said, This is my infirmity, but oh yeah, I will remember the victorious right hand. Of the Lord. That's why this word of the covenant must not depart of our mouth, but we are called to meditate on it day and night. As the pandemic rage, oh God, you are in control. Just be still and know that He that dwelleth in the secret place. Of the Most High God shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Keep holding on to God. Don't see the pandemic. See God. When God called forth Lazarus from the grave, he saw life. When he said, Lazarus, come forth. 
Whatever is that Lazarus this morning. See God. See life. Because what his word said. 94 Psalm. He promised. To satisfy us. With long life. And show us. His salvation. It begins now. And at that time. We all. We'll see it face to face as we try to live the life every day. What is that sickness this morning? Place your hand this morning. This is a new season. Fresh anointing. Fresh healing. Yes, God. As we let go and lift our eyes onto the hills. Place our body temple before the Lord. Let him minister to you this morning. Let him touch that part. Know this morning there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein. And sinners plunge beneath that flood. Lose all their guilty stain. Yes, God. So this morning, let us step into that fountain. Go into the fountain. Take your plunge this morning. And lift your eyes onto the hills. God is there. Don't see nothing. God, feel life. Love, joy, wisdom, and the presence of God. And tell yourself the glorious infusion of the Jesus Christ Spirit is now healing, harmonizing, and making you every bit whole. Father, those who are sick this morning, God, let them see life. Let them know, Lord, I'm with you always. The devil comes in to tell you otherwise. This thing is coming back. But he says, I am the Lord that healed thee. Oh, God, heal our body temple. Heal our homes. Heal our minds. Heal our children. Heal our affairs. Heal Guyana. Here, there, and across the miles, oh God. Hear our prayer, God. As we give you the praise, the thanks, the honor, the glory. Our relatives across the miles, oh God, remember them, God. Remember them and all other our friends. Yes, God, we bring them before you this morning. Nothing in our hands we bring, but simply to Jesus we are clinging. Then, Father, Bless those little hearts this morning. With those listeners with the little cell phones. Those at the Harbor Bridge, Barbies Bridge. Those incarcerated this morning. Oh God, give them a turn around. Our doctors, our nurses, oh God. Frontline workers. A new and fresh anointing. Anoint the hands of the doctors. Anoint the needles, oh God. Anoint the medicine, dear God. They cannot work without you. They cannot do it without you, my God. Oh, oh God, is any hour so sweet. From blush of morn to evening star. Touch the patients this morning. Touch the ICU ward. Touch those needles, oh God. The doctor about to perform the operation. 
Be thou his guardian and his guide. And hear him when he calls. Let not his swiftly footsteps slide. But uphold his hand. Uphold the needle, O oh God. We need divine intervention at this time. We must have divine intervention. We must have the Savior near us. For we dare not walk alone. So, Father, bless our children this morning. Bless all mental patients, oh God, this morning. The accident and emergency ward this morning. Bless the nurses as they go and come. All caregivers, oh God. We send out this prayer. Those going and coming from work. Those passengers and the minibuses. Under the sound of our voice. Not this morning. Your God. Our God. The God of Jacob. The God of Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego. That is the God. We are speaking about. So Father. We now release this prayer. And seal it under the blood. And call it down. In no other name. But in the name and through the power of the resurrected Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>